yung sa drought ngayon is more El Nino. Di ba? Yes. Marami ng yes. farms na ano ngayon yes. eh. Yes. They've dried up. Meron ng state of calamity in exactly. several provinces. That's El Nino. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, And El Nino but, is a natural phenomenon, yeah. which is a cycle that we experience economics. every two to seven years. Mm -hmm. Hindi pa actually nag-decide uh, yung mga scientists kung ano yung magiging impact ng climate change on the El Nino cycle. It looks like it will be intensified in, instead of uh, just having weak El Ninos, there will be Uh, a chance that with climate change we will have more and more of the stronger types of El Niños. So you'd say na tong water crisis natin, which is still ongoing in many parts of Manila, mm -hmm. is more on a management side, lack of preparation, lack of foresight? I would say it's, it, it will always boil down to management. Kasi kahit may problema yung isang resource, if it's managed correctly, then you can dampen the impact of uh, a crisis. For example, in this uh, particular issue, kung kinukulang na pala ng tubig yung isa sa mga concessionaires natin, then we should have started having these uh, rotational interruptions since last year. I, I mean, most people wouldn't mind to have one hour or two hour interruptions every day just to manage that, uh, that blow. Instead of having all of a sudden, after one day of having 24/7 uh, mm -hmm. supply, biglang okay, you will now only have six hours of, of water. So that's a management issue, coupled, of course, with not having enough uh, water resources to to use and so on and so forth.